Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's look at backgrounds and placeholders in iMovie. So in iMovie, you can add these backgrounds and placeholders by going to the last button here, which will bring up Maps, Backgrounds, and Animatics. Now, the, the, the top ones here are all these globes and maps. But if you go underneath them, you can see these backgrounds. Now, you may have seen these before. When you go to add titles to an area that doesn't have video, it will ask you to put one of these backgrounds behind the title. But you can use these backgrounds by themselves without actually having a title over them. So, for instance, to have a plain black background, I would simply just drag this in here to my project. And it's nothing but a black background. I can do the same, say, if I wanted to do a retro background here. I can add that afterwards. Now you can see each of these is four seconds long. I can select to make clip adjustments. It brings up the inspector and I can change this to be any amount of time that I want. So that's a 12 second long uh, graphic of black there and then four seconds here and I can add transitions between them uh, and do all sorts of things. Now one of the reasons you may want to add one of these is simply to be able to lay in some audio before you do video. If you've noticed in iMovie you can't put in audio just by itself. It's got to have some sort of video on it. So if you're doing audio first you can use these backgrounds here to lay in audio. Now also useful then is if you scroll further down here in the list you've got these placeholders in iMovie 11 uh, and you can grab one of these. They're just graphics really and uh, place them back there. And each of them symbolizes something like for instance this symbolizes a close up. Uh, this is a medium shot. Uh, so you can use those to uh, actually you know, kind of remember what it is you want to put in there. And you can see they actually even move a little bit. So they're more interesting than just a plain graphic. You could also just drag and drop a photo or a graphic that you make in Photoshop in here and use it the same way. And you adjust the length of these like that and you can even change what it is. You can see I change the animatic there. Um, over click on here I can change the background. So as I mentioned one use for these is to have sound playing when there's no video. So for instance if you've got a piece of video and another piece of video and you want music to play between them and you want a few seconds say of nothing you can put a black background between those two clips. Or say if you want the music to continue after your last bit of video has faded out you can put a black background or some other background at the end of your video or you do the same thing at the beginning. Another use is for kind of storyboarding something when you want to put placeholders in and when you have an idea using a soundtrack of where you want things to go you can use the animatics or backgrounds to hold the places for a video that you maybe haven't shot yet or just simply haven't found in the video that you have shot. So I hope you found this look at backgrounds and animatics in iMovie useful. Till the next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page, and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.